Hi, this is Jason Trombach, the Conservation and Food Plot Specialist and Certified Wildlife Biologist with Millborn Seeds. I'm out here in a broom renovation project we're doing, and I uh, just kind of want to show you the first initial steps and in the first uh, about six months of growth we have on our native planting. So what we started here is actually just a monoculture brome we had. We had, a, we had the guy actually hay it off, and we actually sprayed it a couple of times with Roundup. And the last time he sprayed with Roundup, we had a plateau at four ounces an acre. Plateau is a herbicide we use to establish native grasses. And in this mix, we happened to use only grasses because he was worried about a thistle problem he has in here, so he didn't want to add any wildflowers at this time. So we used a, kind of the common native grasses in this mix. Um, there's some big blue stem in this mix. There's some switchgrass, some side oats, some western wheatgrass. There's a little bit of little blue stem, um, and there's some Indian grass in this mix. So kind of your common six-way native grass mix. I'll point out some of the main grasses here in a second, but just kind of wanted to show you the first six months of growth we have here. It's pretty typical. You kind of see behind me, you know, the first year growth of native grasses going into sod. Not extremely ideal conditions, but uh, you know, you can roll the grass out. Got a really good stand for the first year. And uh, again, just kind of want to show you the first initial steps and the growth of native grasses and what you can expect the first year when you're um, basically changing a monoculture to brome to a native warm season grass. Just wanted to, again, point out some of the main grasses we have. And uh, one of the, the main grasses that get used in about every native grass planting we do is big blue stem. Big blue stem, when it's fully mature, will probably reach about four to six foot tall. And uh, again, this is about this is about 30% of the mix. The next grass in here we have is uh, switchgrass. Again, another great warm season grass. Um, when this grass is fully mature, it also probably reach a height about four to five foot tall. And again, those these two are probably about half the mix is big blue and switchgrass. And some other grasses we had in the mix was uh, was also Cytos grama. This is a short native grass, being a max height of about two to three foot, but a really stiff stem, good short grass to use in native mixes. Another grass we used here was, uh, was western wheatgrass. This is a cool season grass, so it means it will green up early in the year, kind of go dormant during the summer, and then green up again here in the fall. 